Hello everyone, I'm Itamar and uh, in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to make an alarm system uh, with Arduino Nano using a flame sensor and uh, an LCD display. So that's my project. Um, that's the, uh, the secret and uh, we've got here the, 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 the um, flame sensor and uh, the buzzer for the uh, noise and uh, our Arduino Nano. The, the flame sensor has three pins. The, the first one is the data pin D, D O and uh, the middle pin is the ground and the third pin is the uh, the VCC. So I'm going to put the back the data pin from the from uh, this sensor of this sensor is attached to pin uh, to analog pin A6 here. That's the uh, analog pin A6. So. And uh, of course, the the VCC, uh, the VCC pin of uh, the sensor goes to pin to VCC to five volts of the uh, Arduino Uno Nano. Um, I mean, and the the ground to to the ground. Now oh, I'm going to connect the um, LCD. I to C uh, to uh, Arduino Nano. So the um, LCD I to C I to C has four pins. So the first one is starting from here is the uh, SCL pin. The second one is the uh, SDA pin, the third is the, uh, the VCC pin, and the fourth pin is uh, the ground. So the, um, the uh, SCL pin is the blue cable, and um, the yellow cable is the SDA pin, the VCC is the um, uh, I don't know this color, uh, but uh, let's say um, the red cable, and uh, yeah, that the cable, okay, is the uh, uh, the ground. Okay, now let me show you the sketch for today's tutorial. Okay, uh, that's our program. So we need to install the Liquid Crystal I2C library, and uh, we need to create uh, this object, the um, LCD object, which has uh, its address and uh, 16 columns and the uh, two rows. So here is the flame sensor, which is connected to analog pin A6. Th the buzzer um, is attached to pin D2 of the uh, Arduino Nano. So inside of void setup, we initialize the uh, uh, LCD display and uh, we turn on the backlight of it. And uh, we start the uh, LCD display in this line. So the buzzer is our output, is an output so here we start the communication between our 
laptop and the uh, Arduino Nano. So inside of void loop, we have the uh, analog read function so that uh, we can get the digital value from the flame sensor. And uh, this digital uh, value, I guess, uh, mm, goes from 33 to 1023. So if uh, this digital uh, value is less than 1,000, so we're going to move uh, the cursor to uh, this position, and uh, we're going to see uh, this message flame de detected on the um, LCD display. And uh, uh, so here we, we've got the tone function so that uh, we can hear the noise, the alarm. And uh, we're gonna wait um, 500 milliseconds. Again, tone function, and we wait uh, 200 milliseconds. So we have here two um, tone functions uh, so that uh, we can have two tones. So um, if the digital value coming from the, the uh, analog read function is not less than 1,000, uh, let's say is greater than uh, 1,000, so we're going to wait uh, one second and uh, we, we're going to clear uh, the um, uh, the uh, LCD, the um, information um, that um, we find on the uh, LCD display. So here I can write note on, okay, to stop the, uh, the noise, note on and uh, noise. Okay guys, that's our program. Let me connect um, our uh, Arduino Nano to our PC so, so that uh, we can test the project. Okay. It's connected. I've just replaced uh, the uh, red cable with uh, this, uh, this cable because the red cable um, was not working properly, okay? So now we are ready to upload our program. So we go to tools uh, and we choose our board, Arduino Nano. And uh, the port is com5, and uh, yeah, then we click on uh, upload. Okay, I think it's done. Um, okay, time to test our project to see whether it's working uh, properly. So, um, let us test. When the flame sensor De detects the uh, the flame. We're gonna see the message uh, flame detected. If the, if there is no flame, um, no message and uh, no noise. With flame, okay. Uh, we print out the message flame detected and we can hear 
the the noise uh, thank you so much and uh, i see you in the next video